Okay, what's up, folks? Today is Monday, October 17th, 2016. Rich Van Tassel with you, giving you the preview of tonight's Monday night football game. The New York Jets at 1 and 4 travel to Arizona to play the Cardinals, who are 2 and 3. Both teams are 1 and 2, respectively. Cardinals at home, 1 and 2. Jets, 1 and 2 on the road. Two teams that have certainly been disappointing as far this season. Uh, there were some you know, big expectations for these teams. Uh, I tempered mine just a bit in the regular season, but or in the preseason, that is, but others had them having a very good regular season. Uh, injury is very simple. They're none listed for either side. So getting right into it for this game, clearly it comes down to turnovers with the Jets. Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, almost 1,300 yards, but five touchdowns to 10 interceptions, just not good enough through five games. That's an average of two. Now, granted, he had one where he threw six, so in the other three he only has four, but that's still more than one a game. So that's something that's got to be corrected in this one. Carson Palmer will be getting the start off of that concussion. So we'll see if there are any cobwebs left and uh, if he can knock them loose. I'll be looking to get the ball to Larry Fitzgerald, of course, and uh, really exploit the Jets secondary, which has not been good thus far this season. For the Jets, they're trying to run the ball to minimize the mistakes, minimize the turnovers. Matt Forte's been productive but it's taken him a lot of carries to get as many yards as he has and he's under four yards per carry for a 30 year old running back that's got to be something to keep an eye on certainly on the other hand David Johnson is over five yards per carry and has five touchdowns so Arizona certainly on paper is the better team and I don't see really any reason why the Cardinals should not be able to come away with this victory despite how desperate the Jets are um, you know, you have a guy like a Patrick Peterson, the Tyron Matthew for the Cardinals in their secondary. So anything that Ryan Fitzpatrick does that's even slightly off is most likely going to result in a turnover. And he's going to try to force the ball to Brandon Marshall regardless. He tried to do it against Richard Sherman. He's certainly going to do it against Patrick Peterson. And I think it's going to bite the Jets in this one. You know, the Cardinals, their offense, they like to try to get the ball downfield. They like to take the, their shots and that could leave them susceptible because the Jets' front seven can get pressure if they're trying to, you know, really get the ball downfield early, establish themselves that way. And Carson Palmer's taking some deep drops. He's not the most mobile of quarterbacks. That could be a cause of concern for the Cardinals in this game. But either way, even if the Jets are able to get pressure early, maybe force a turnover here, uh, I would expect Arizona to make the adjustments in this one and get themselves to 500 and try to get their season rolling thus far. And for the Jets, it's um, going to get bad after they lose this game. They had a tough schedule. Like we said, both of these teams are pretty disappointing. Arizona, I would say more so because they've had a much tougher schedule. The Jets' schedule has been pretty brutal, and it's just going to continue right now in this one. And I see the Cardinals coming away with a victory, pulling away late. I like it 31-17. to in favor of the Cardinals. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for any other flash alerts we have coming up. Um, baseball playoffs, I know I got to get to. And if not, uh, we'll see you on Thursday. And of course, the NBA coming up, we'll be doing a preview of that. So make sure to tune in for all the things that keep coming. Remember, we appreciate all subscriptions. And we will see you guys later. Have a good night.